Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Path to Tholomus. This is a first person puzzle game from Carlos Coronado. I've played it for about 15 minutes so far, but I only needed to play it for a couple minutes to know that I wanted to record it, but I just got glued to the screen because the environments are ridiculously beautiful, as you are about to see. It's available on Steam, and I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Alright, let's begin. With the prologue. Again. Sophia! Shouldn't have taken her here. Shit. Sophia, where are you? Call out to me, please! Sophia! Not go outside! God damn it! Baby, baby, please, please, baby, don't do this to me. Where are you, Sophia? How many times will I kill her? I've asked myself that question a thousand times. It was always there, flying around my head like my own personal vulture, waiting for me to die and scavenge my corpse. It was the only thing I could think about when I ended up in that hospital bed. But, I can't really blame the tornado, can I? What can you expect from a force of nature? I was the one who chased it. My obsession. I deserved to be in that bed. Neither dead, nor alive. I had screwed with destiny, and it screwed me right back. Fair deal. It was also reassuring to know that I couldn't harm anybody else, as long as I was in a coma. That was the type of nonsense I had to tell myself to keep me on the path. For all those years, I'd hated my father almost as much as myself for what happened to my little sister. And then I'd go and do the same thing to my own daughter. My own Sophia. And they say things never change. <laughs> Cynics, what do they know? I put Sophia in danger, taking her with me on the job. Severe weather phenomena. It's more exciting than it sounds. Extreme weather. There's some radical 90s slang for you. My reckless father had done the same thing with Sophia and I. At least this time she... didn't suffer. Well, had I known. But I didn't. Not yet. It wasn't really a choice for me to make. I will never know what lies beyond the red light. But I had the sneaking suspicion that I never could have known anyway, that any pretense of free choice was merely an illusion. 
I could only accept the path that was laid down before me. drawing. The first of many. It had been too long since Sophia had been more than a whisper screaming in the back of my mind, but I could still recognize it. I admit, at that moment, hope started to flourish inside me. Where would the drawings lead me? Was my little sister alive in this world? Like my father before me, I had spent all my life studying weather phenomena. I thought I was different. I thought I was doing it to pay my debt to Sophia. I was wrong. But all that work couldn't have been for nothing. <laughs> I was told my very first published study on the hazards of road fog was all sorts of helpful. I was rather proud of that one. And now, of course, to get to Sophia, I had to bend fog to my will. That'd be the first of many, too. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, I'm a father... ...in a coma. Basically, everything that I see here is a, just a product of my mind. I'm basically inside of my mind... ...dealing with the uh, guilt of what happened. And it is a very irresponsible thing to do, isn't it? Bring your daughter on something like like that, on a tornado chase? Alright, so this is... Where I need to go. It's where the picture went. And yeah, the environments are very beautiful. This one's pretty good looking, but uh, they get even more spectacular than this very, very soon. Just the sun rays themselves are awesome. Look at this. Hmm. Beautiful. So when I step inside of here, it shrinks and everything becomes foggy. But it quickly comes back out when I leave. So it seems like if I put this inside of here, that kind of makes it stay. And this ball itself, by the way, if you look at it, I don't know about you, but it seems like it's almost like synapses or something like that. It seems like it's brain matter. Almost like I'm making, I don't know, connections or something with it. And there's some other stuff a little bit further on that also makes me think that some of the objects and things that I interact with are kind of representative of my mind. This environment here is just gorgeous. It's like there is no... no end... to what you see on the horizon. It just goes on forever. And it's almost like you can't even tell the difference between the sky and the ground. Almost as if they're the same thing. 
It seems like it's just the sky reflecting off the ground, almost as if it's wet, but the strange thing is if you look down, you don't see any water. And it doesn't seem like wet sand. It's ridiculously gorgeous. By the way, there's actually some objects out there. I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're slightly to the left of the middle of the screen and then to the right of the middle of the screen. They're very, very, very faint. I tried actually going out to those. And unfortunately, you can't reach them. You just end up hitting an invisible wall. But I wonder what they are. And once again, those sun rays. Oh my god, look at that. Every decision creates ripples, countless unforeseen consequences. If we could see the inner workings of this infinity, we would mimic the deer that stands still to elude its predator. We wouldn't dare make a move. I couldn't see it, so I followed the path, and that kept me alive. But it did much more than that. Introspection can be far more scarring than any wound. Even these stones beneath my feet are ridiculously good looking. Even the sand. I just want to run my hand through the sand. This entire game is just like one big wallpaper. Like, you, you can take any moment, take a screenshot, and you have a wallpaper. Like, boom, there you go. Wallpaper. And look at this. Yeah, the weird thing is, again, the sand doesn't actually seem like it's wet back here. It doesn't look like it, although it is reflecting the sky, so obviously it is. But when you get close, you can see the water. It's just, whoa, 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 whoa careful. The, the water is just cascading down into this endless abyss. Beautiful. And these things here that seem like... Like... Just... Plants. Like vines. I have a feeling that they're more like... I, I don't know, brain matter or some sort of a connection inside of the body, inside of the mind. They're by, you know... More biological. Well, obviously plants are biological, but... Anyway... You get what I mean. First, I saw myself reflected in the shallow sea, and I wept. Then fear found me deep in the bottomless belly of this world. Time unraveled in the forest. It was much later, in the world of ice, that I fought against the demons that had been passed down to me, father to son. And finally, in the heavens and at the sacred tree, the truth of my maker. For all that... Solitude and sorrow were my true, faithful companions in the path of Talamus. They consumed the beauty of this realm, making it gray and hopeless. The only thing that mattered was moving forward. Only the path remained. How would I find her otherwise? And even this bridge here, like, there was no bridge here until I got close to that picture, the drawing. And then this unlocked suddenly. So even this seems like it's maybe a... Maybe it's like a connection in the brain that's been unlocked because of the memory of the drawing. Like I'm rebuilding my brain, perhaps? And this red stuff, even though it actually forms a thing that I can walk across, it can also block my way. So I need to get down there. But I need to move it out of the way first. Good old mirrors. Can't have a puzzle game without mirrors.
and they can also serve as portals to other realms. As this one does. She was just a little kid, even more so than I, laughing away while playing on a swing set. I saw it coming before she did, and I ran and ran and ran and didn't look back until I was safe, all the way up in the tree. It was all over in a split second. No dramatic exit. And suddenly, she was gone. So I was a little bit confused about the story at this point um, when I was playing through this the first time, but uh, now that I'm playing through it again, I think I actually get it. So it seems that there's actually two Sophias. There was his sister, Sophia, and then there was his daughter, Sophia. So his sister, him and his sister were both, I guess, on a sort of tornado chase or something like that with his father. And then that's when his sister, Sophia, got killed. And I believe that's what he was just talking about. He was young, he was on a swing set. He ran away up into a tree. But Sophia died. And then, of course, there's what happened... Uh, uh, just recently, which is his daughter, Sophia. Who, I... You know, I don't actually know what happened to her. He said, how many times am I, you know, am I gonna have to kill her or see her get killed? Which implies that she's dead, but given that I'm in a coma, how do I actually know? I'm not sure that I do. Maybe she's not. But yeah, it's a little bit confusing because there's two Sophias. But uh, now I actually get it. Okay. Okay, so this is a big cloud thing that uh, pushes you around. You can actually jump on top of it. We can go for a ride and bounce around. Oh yeah. Uh, but the point of it is that when you stand up here, it kind of sucks itself in, and as soon as you leave, it blows out. And if you get hit by it, you can use it to jump somewhere. So I need to get up there. So let's go ahead and utilize that. There we go. And to another realm we go. I mean, hell, look at that. Right there. Another wallpaper. Boom. Oh my god, it's so good looking. Alright, so this is a puzzle of... sort of invisible um, pathways. So it looks like you can just walk up here. But you can't. You just fall through. You can even try jumping, but it's not quite enough. And as it turns out, huh, I'm going to make a terrible pun here. Upon reflection, you realize what the truth is. And I mean that quite literally, because if you, if you look down at the reflection on the uh, wet sand, you can see you can't actually see the pathways up here where, well, the pathways don't exist. Just see? It just ends in a little stub if you look down. And that's because it does. But, if you go over here, you can see in the reflection, this one actually continues, even though it doesn't look like there's anything up here. Very cool. Just need a little reflection. So it's this way. There we go. Alright, this is as far as I've gotten so far, so I'm in completely unexplored territory now. And the environment's gotten larger. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Uh, looks like this one is another... doesn't go up there. Yep. What about this one? Mm, oh, yeah, this one actually continues up. Okay. Let's see what that does. Ooh. 
Okay. <laughs> Reflected a lot of different places. Who's and... to blame for her death? The tsunami did what it did. No point in blaming God or fate. So I looked in the mirror as I had many times before and reflected back on it. I saw guilt. My father shared some of the burden, but it was mine. My guilt. My fault. He must be talking about what happened before. Right? His sister, Sophia? He's got to be talking about his sister, Sophia. Alright, so I think it opened something up there, yeah. That red vine, I'm just gonna call it a vine, even though I don't think it really is a vine. Looks like it opened up, but there's a lot more there. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh, do I need to get inside of there? Yeah, there's a mirror in there. Okay, so I think my end, res my end goal is to get in there. Probably. So there's got to be a way to adjust these things or something. So where's it going? It's hitting here. Can I adjust this? Doesn't seem so. Hmm. Well, there's a bunch more of them. So let's just hit them all, I guess. I wonder if I can adjust the mirrors. Of course I fall through. I knew that would happen. Okay. Uh, I think I go this way. And then... Uh, probably this way, right? Yeah, I didn't even have to check. Oh, yeah. Okay. Had my own Sophia survived too, back home, or in this world? One had drowned, and the other... What are the odds of surviving the Eye of the Storm? There are a few accounts. 1928, Greensburg, Kansas. A farmer saw the inside of a tornado. It was still as death, he said. Then it hissed. It actually screamed. And the hollowness was lit up by lightning. Was that the last thing my little girl had seen, I wondered? Death, screams, and God's thunder? The ire of the tornado. Okay, yeah, so he doesn't actually know if she's dead or not. Of course, I mean, how could he? He's in a... A coma as a result. That's good. That, that means there's hope. There's actually hope. I mean, he's still an extremely irresponsible father. <laughs> Which is actually a little bit of a problem. I'm trying to um, have sympathy for him, but... And I do to some degree, but... It is a very irresponsible thing to do to take your kid on such an excursion. Putting them in danger. Especially after the same thing happened with your father and your sister. Can I actually just go this way? Where's this actually going? Oh, oh, I gotta get up there, okay. Look at that gnarled old tree. Feels like it's been here forever. Okay, let's look at the reflections. Mmm, I see. Okay, so it continues on a little bit to the right and then forwards. Okay. Gotcha. And then... Mmm, can't actually see it from here. Should I just go straight? Oh, I'm going up. Okay. So going up until I hit this, and then probably going right. And then... Okay. Here we go. Okay, lots and lots of lights going on here. Maybe I don't aim them, maybe I just need to activate all of them. Could almost jump that one. Almost. Let's get a good look at this. Okay, so it goes to the left, and then it goes straight, and then... Okay. 
Simple enough. Go like this. Never mind. <laughs> um, what does it do there? Goes to the right. Okay, goes to the right. Gotcha. Okay, did I unblock enough? I couldn't know. Not yet. Trapped in that world, the only thing I knew was my sister had survived in there. Somehow. I just had to let myself be led by her drawings and her light. The Thalamus was waiting for me, although I wouldn't see it and with it any sense of hope until I had emerged from the darkness of the cave. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. What is the Thalamus, by the way? What actually is that? I mean, apparently it's something I'm seeking. After all, after all, I'm on the path to Thalamus. But what actually is it? My god, that is a beautiful way to show the title of the game. Maybe the most beautiful I've seen yet. I don't know, just something about the, the way that was integrated into the environment, along with the music that played, and just the majesty of the environment itself. Holy crap, that was powerful. I don't even want to go there. Here, I don't even know if I can go there, but I just want to walk along the beach. Into the sun. Probably gonna hit an invisible wall, I suppose, but... I still want to walk along the beach. What's this in the ground? Oh, that's my wall. Perhaps that was once a fence of some sort. But now it is buried. Ah, oh, look at the... Look at the way the sand glitters. Oh, hello there. My little brainy ball. Come with me into the light. The sand between my toes. I hadn't paid attention to the feeling before, and now I couldn't. I didn't feel my body at all. My alarming lack of a physical presence was too much of an existential threat to handle, so I didn't. You know, that actually, uh, I'm glad he addressed that actually, because I noticed that there's very little, in fact, there's no player movement sounds. Like, there's no sound when you jump, there's no footstep sounds, there's no footsteps in the sand. Wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on. Are those footsteps? Those are footsteps, but wait, am I leaving footsteps? No. Where did those footsteps come from? Oh, they're just on the beach. But yeah, you make basically no sound when you're uh, moving around. And I was thinking, you know, did, did they forget to add sound effects? But then I thought, you know, maybe it's like you're... You're in a dream world, so maybe you don't really have a physical body. And it looks like that is the case, given what he just said. Let's follow these footsteps. Oh, what is that? Is that a boat? Looks like the one that... Like, hit right by my face.
Okay. Into the belly of the beast. Unlike Jonah's, mine was no big fish, but it was just as frightening, if not more so. Day and night, light and darkness. Convenient opposites to explain away complex realities. But can you blame them? Such powerful symbols. No wonder you'll find them in every story, every dogma. These sweet lies are easier to swallow, easier to live by rather than admitting that life is rarely so simple. Some sort of a light source down there. It's very bright. Hmm, some sort of cave, uh, fungus? Something. But it seems to be giving off light. Wow, look at this. All of this sounds pretty cheesy or lame, I'm sure. And it is. But honest truths tend to sound like that. We are so unfamiliar with them. In that coma, in that cave, in the dark, it was the only thing of consequence. Look at this cave. It's been carved and weathered by, what, hundreds, thousands of years of... water? I think this is caused by water going... Going by it, right? To kind of like weather it out to these sort of strips. And what is it that make them... Or that makes it have these strips? Is it just the fact that there's a bunch of different layers of different kinds of rock that weather at different rates? So you end up with this sort of wavy look? I'm not quite sure, but it's beautiful. I think that thing went down here. The brain cube, or whatever you want to call it. There it is. What are those? Mushrooms? Or something? Let's go down and have a look. Is there a way back up? Oh yeah, looks like it. Light and darkness Whoa. are absolutes. Absolutes are easy, and easy is boring. But mix them up, and you will find my fascination follows suit. It is at night that we value the sun, the light and the dark. That's what holds my attention. And that's what I yearn for in the cavern. If my hunger was not sated, not yet. I starved for light. Okay, so yeah, those... Those ball things do activate stuff as long as they're inside of it. And whenever I or the ball things inside of this thing, it becomes nighttime. Does the sky change? No. Look at these crystals. Can I paint? Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, paint myself the rest of that bridge to complete it, you know? That'd be cool. Yeah, so I can make it permanently night if I want to. I don't have any particular reason to make it nighttime or to make it daytime, so I guess I'll just leave it down there.
I don't actually know where this is leading me. It doesn't It's not leading me back up the way I came. Or anywhere near it by the looks of it. I hope this loops around. Oh, it's back up here? Oh, this is back to, like, the beginning. So I gotta fall down the hole again. What was the hole? Hmm. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's here. I think it's on the other side of this thing. Alright, let's see what's over here. It's probably going to take me all the way around out to that thing. The cube. It's, it's not a cube, it's a ball. The ball. The brain ball. I'm just going to call it the ball. The brain ball. Or the BB. Come back! I'll come back for it in a second. Let's go get the brain ball. This one is glowing particularly bright. Maybe I need it as a source of light? He was talking about light and darkness. Oh god, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Come with me. I do want to take a look up at the night sky, though. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Alright, let's journey into darkness. Actually, maybe this stuff doesn't produce light, because there's a bunch of it, and it's not producing light. Yeah, that is very, very dark. I wish I could hold the damn ball at the bottom of the screen, because it's blocking the center. Makes it hard to see. Whoa! Okay, I uh, might want to avoid that. That doesn't seem friendly. <gasps> I think I have to follow it. I knew I had to follow the music, yet I expected something else to go with it. I thought that fear would find me and keep me petrified there forever. Yes, I felt alone and helpless, but the narrative conventions of fear-inducing darkness were not fulfilled. No deep-seated trauma reared its ugly head. Not yet. I can't tell if I'm getting closer or further away. I think I'm getting further away. Oh, maybe not. More crystals. Whoa, look at that tube. Alright. Let's go down. Everything was formless and void. Darkness was upon me. And so I said, let there be light, and there was light. Ooh, what is that? Pillars. Ah, oh, there it is. Some red light over there and a big ball. 
another thing to stop me. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Somehow I threw it. Okay. Well. I do want to see what's down here, though. It's probably a dead end, I guess. Sure wish I had my ball of light. Sure wish I didn't accidentally punt it. Yeah, that just closes off. It gets too low. Fresh air again. I wish I'd been able to feel it. Alright, so what does this thing do? This pushes me away? Okay. You can still kind of jump up it, though. What if I get to the top of it? I, I kind of really want to. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's, it's kind of working. <gasps> Maybe? No, no, not really. There might be an invisible wall that I'm hitting. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and grab my little light ball here. Come with me. Let's suppose I can disable it with my light. Hmm, no. I had to use my brain for this one. It's just like that famous song from Bob Dylan. Wait, I have to use my brain to solve this puzzle? Oh man, I didn't sign up for this. No, I'm done. I'm done. I quit. <sighs> okay, I'll turn on my brain. Hold on, let me just do the boot process. And done. Simple enough. Oh, come back here. Ah, where are you going? <gasps> Shit. I think that noise means it respawned. Yeah, it did. Okay. <laughs> Let's go grab it. Thankfully, there's no fall damage. I guess because I have no feet. Okay, there we go. I can just go the other way and fall down, right? I don't think I need to go that way. And obviously I can't. Yeah, can't I just fall down? Eh, well, maybe. Hmm. Looking at it from here. I think that should work, but uh, there might be something in place to stop you from doing that because perhaps that's not how you're supposed to solve it. So let's just see what happens when I put it in this thing. Which I didn't realize existed until now. Ah, there we go. But the thing is, I was using it to get across. And I'm pretty sure I can't jump it. I don't think I can jump that either. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay. In that case... Whoa. Oh, the ball stays where it is. Interesting. In that case... Perhaps I need to time it. And what is a better natural timer than putting something on a slope? Here we go. You're supposed to go into your hole, ball. Go. Go back to your home. Good ball. 
Good ball. Good ball. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Brain engaged. That wasn't a good sound. Whoa, you know what this looks like right now? This looks a lot like Dark Souls 2. Maybe it's just the color of the lighting, but it just reminds me a lot of Dark Souls 2. Of course, uh, you know, g in gameplay terms, they're slightly different games. Very slightly. Was the picture on the wall always a red rose? Memories are a funny thing. They are gateways to our past. They are all connected, yet they don't really work both ways. Enter deep into a memory and it will lead you to another. But this one will not take you back. Treacherous things, memories. You can easily get trapped by them. But I wouldn't. I told myself my memories always led me to Sophia eventually. And this time it would help me find her at the end of the journey. The Talamus. Ah, oh, look at those sun rays. Beautiful. Okay, there's a split. Where does this one go? Oh, it's a dead end. I trusted you hole in the wall. You betrayed me. Hello, my little BB. I got a brain ball. Ah, oh, it just leads me back around? Okay. What do I do with you? Perhaps there's something to shove you into up here. Hmm. Uh, that's a slight issue. Wait a minute. It's glowing. Okay. Do I need to leave it here? Does it stop glowing when I get close? No, it stayed glowing. Is that because I have this in the crystal field? Yes, it's the crystal field. Okay, so crystal fields are just like... the tree thing. Whoa, it changed. Is that because of this? Is it because I'm here, or is it just because something's here? Just, just because anything's here. Okay, so... There's nothing special about the brain balls other than the fact that they just act just like me, except I can put them somewhere and leave them. Okay. Oh! That is a portal, isn't it? And that's what the lights are for, because everything's drained of color. Well, not just color, but also kind of drained of light, so I have to follow them. Whoa. Is that pointing me? This is so cool looking. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, where do I go next? I mean, it seems to be pointing me back. I guess it is. Well, that one's pointing me back, too. I don't believe you. I'm going this way. I ain't following your instructions. I think you're lying. Okay, this is the dead end, I think. So this would be where the portal is. There we go. Excellent. 
Thank you, Brain Ball. You serve me well. Hmm. Okay. Um, slight problem. Shit. <laughs> what do I do now? I need another portal? Where be another portal? Oh, it's an invisible wall. Wait. Where did that... Did that just take me across where I wanted to go? I think it did. Oh god. Oh god. That was the second sign of corruption. It would eventually spread throughout the whole world, but for now I was safe. For the most part. Okay, so that's the evil red brain ball. That's the bad brain ball. Is it gonna come again? No, okay. Let's follow the water. Go with the flow. Let the current guide my non-existent feet. I was about to see the light again. But it was more than that. At long last, I would see the Talamus. The sacred tree, the root and end of it all. From the moment I saw it, I knew there was something intangible about it. But I also knew it was my destination. That's where I would find her. That's where I would be forgiven. A long and difficult journey separated me from Sophia, but I was ever closer to the Talamus. Beautiful. Even the flowers are beautiful. What was that noise? God, look at those clouds.
Okay, so I need to find a brain ball to put there. To use the portal. Man, it is getting really stormy. Oh no! It's shattered. Hmm, are there invisible... Oh, wait. It's in the water. There we it go. It never pours, but it floods. The rainstorm clouded the tree and sank my spirits. I had yet to realize it had not come into being to hinder me, but to help me bridge the difficulties that awaited me at the bottom of the valley. Yeah, look at that tree up there. It's huge. It's so big. Whoa, what was that? Where does this lead? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, let's plop this here. Thank you, Brain Ball. Took me all the way to the other side. Perhaps I go through it again? Hmm. I wonder if the direction you enter it from matters. Okay, so back here. Go through it again, it's going to take me to the same spot, right? Yep. Okay, so what if I enter it from here? No difference? No difference. So this is simply to get back. Um, maybe I need the other one to get this to work. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can actually... Can you actually see where it's taking you? Looks like it shoots over there. This one. Mm, I don't see any markings going through the sky for this one. Oh, whoa, there we go. That took a while. Now it's gone. Okay, I think maybe I need the other one. So let's go ahead and see if I can grab it. I need the water level to rise, don't I? Aha! And it stops when I... Okay, okay. So I need to go get the brain ball, put it over there, get the other brain ball, then I have both brain balls. And then I get to juggle the brain balls. And then everybody's happy, and the end.
Okay, a question I do have, though, is what now? Do I actually need both back there on the flowers? Would that make a difference? Or maybe I just need one here and one back there. Like, I'm not quite sure what I need to do. Well, let me keep it raining. And then I'll put one here and let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm really not quite sure what my goal is. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I think I perhaps just got it. Hold on. Let's take this ball out and observe what happens. Over there. Aha, look at it. Far in the distance. It just lowered. So I need it to rise up. I need it to rise up, but not just yet. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the timer again. And once again, the best timer for a ball is a long slope. Okay, so... Yeah, I just need to walk forwards. Okay, so... Go through here. I just need to drop this. And then I'm going to need to go very, very fast. Aha! Bingo! Look at that. Pretty sure I'm not going this way, but uh, let's get a look out here. Ah, the scale of this. Everything is just so big. I love it. Hmm. 